I can't believe it. I know. Since you let me do it to you, I had to let you do it to me. <laughs> Not that. Although, remind me to throw away that cat toy. <laughs> no, I meant the fact that you were cheating on your husband to sleep with your social worker. You just described a fantasy I didn't know I had. <laughs> Naughty social worker. Show me on the doll where I should touch you. <laughs> okay, I need to keep romantically what I do here separate from what I do professionally out there. Even though in both cases, I seem to work with the jobless and homeless. We have a professional relationship. You gave us a kid, I give you an orgasm. Well, technically, both of those are still pending. But I'm serious. If we're going to do this, we have to establish some boundaries. I mean, I'm overseeing Walden's adoption of Lewis. Right, right. I really don't want to mess that up. It's just that, well, I, I, I like spending time with you. And I, to my surprise... I like spending time with you. I'm kind of like poison ivy. You don't realize you've been exposed until you get that itch. Hey. Oh, what's that? Yes, I am wearing the same clothes as last night. <laughs> Ask not for whom the booty calls. <laughs> the booty calls for me. So I assume you're not going to stop until I ask who it was. Gentleman doesn't kiss and tell, but I'm no gentleman, and it's hard to kiss a woman from behind. <laughs> Ellen, oh, okay, okay, who was it? I banged our social worker. <laughs> Pardon? Again? Well, what can I say? She gave my penis a good home. <laughs> I thought this was going to be something that you did once, like manscaping with a straight razor. <laughs> Please don't mess this up for me. Oh, no, no, it's a good thing. Uh, plus, we, we really like each other, and, and we agreed to respect boundaries. You know, personal life, professional life. Okay, and what boundaries are you respecting when you're bragging about having sex with her? That's just something a man wants to share with his husband. <laughs> oh, oh, that's Miss Van She's here to check up on Lewis. It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> wait, 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 did she told you this? No, she didn't tell me. We have boundaries. I saw it on her phone while I was going through her texts. <laughs> Hello, Walden. Miss McMartin! Hi! What a surprise! Come on in! Hey, girl. You are social working it. Can I get you anything? Like a new boyfriend? So no way affect our professional relationship. I'm here strictly as your and Lewis's caseworker. And let me tell you something right now. I want to back that case up. Yo, know, Alan, the lucky thing is, is that after I smack you, there's already a social worker here to report it to. So how is everything going with Lewis? You know, it's good, uh, but I have a couple questions. Like, okay, for example, what's the best way to discipline him? Uh, I believe she favors spanking. say when he asks about his biological parents and how much cheese is too much cheese okay how about we just do one question at a time okay okay there's some cultural things like should i teach him a cool handshake or does that just make me late good question bro <laughs> blow it up you know what might help talking to other foster parents actually some of my dads have started an informal support group they kick around these kind of every week. Oh, that'd be great for you. Uh, I went to a group for divorced dads, and it really helped. Uh, I also went to a group for people whose moms died, but uh, that was just wishful thinking. <laughs> hey, buddy. Roberta's gonna watch you when I go to my meeting tonight, okay? Okay. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Remember the last time when we learned about animals and math? Yep. Wow, what'd you learn? A trifecta is a sucker bet. <laughs> and... Horses run faster when they poop before the race. The kid's a sponge. Good morning. Speaking of sponges. Big plans for the day? I have my first dad's group tonight. Oh, before cool. that, Lewis and I are going to go to the movies. I'm going to hit the gym. Oh, you know what? Why don't we go to the gym first? That way we can steal some water so we can sneak them into the movies. You want to go? Uh, isn't today when you go to the farmer's market and bargain for Bruce Peaches? I can just go to the supermarket. They're all bruised when you bring a Sharpie. <laughs> I spend the day with you. Oh, great. You know, 
it's just that I, I was going to head straight from the gym to the meeting, so if you go... Oh, oh, I get it. Say no more. Thank you. You can just drop me off on your way. <laughs> what do you want for dinner? I don't know. Who thinks about dinner when you're still swallowing your breakfast? I'll have hot dogs. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to do something to help me run faster. <laughs> Hey, fellas. The new guy's here. Hey. Hey, you going to spin class, sweetie? Yep. Yeah. See you later. Hey, I'm Rick. Hey. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Your daughter is very nice. Yes, she is. But that was my wife. <laughs> daughter's 40. That's way too old for... That's uh, Brian over there. Just had newborn twins, so he just comes here to sleep. <laughs> hey, you can park his face. He won't even wake up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this place is amazing. You got a bar and the pool table and the TV. It's just... Add some hot chicks, orange paint, and an owl, and you got a Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe Heidi can serve us beers when she gets back. Uh, why not? That's what she was doing when I met her. <laughs> so, uh, what's your kid's situation? Uh, I got a boy. Uh, his name's Lewis. He's six. Uh, he likes Minecraft and Legos and apparently twice as much cheese as what doctors recommend. <laughs> <laughs> I got three daughters. I always wanted a son, so uh, we adopted Josh. I got half a girl's volleyball team and a wants to be their cheerleader. But I love them. No judgment. My wife and I adopted a four-year-old girl, Micah. I also do alarm systems in case you're in the market. Give me your contact info, or I'll put you down on my weekly email blast. All the guys get it. I can spam. <laughs> that is funny. Jack's alarm code is pound 227. I got three grown kids from my first marriage, and Heidi and I just adopted a seven-year-old girl. Wow. You must really love kids? Yeah, the kids are fine. What I love is Heidi. You saw her. When I was in college, her mother was in sixth grade. And if you think about it, my next wife isn't even born yet. So, uh, why did you and your wife choose to adopt? My wife is incapable of having children. Oh. Yeah, his name is Alan. Oh. Yeah, although, uh, he did order boner pills from China once that made him lactate. <laughs> So, anything going on with Lewis? You know, I have a couple questions that you're the perfect person to answer. Why is that? Because I'm handsome, charming, college graduate, top home security specialist in the South Bay three years running? Yes. But <laughs> Lewis is also all those things. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Ms. McMartin told us your kid was mixed race. So, what do you want to know? Do you want to know how to comb his hair or what type of music to expose him to? Do I need to teach him a cool handshake? So that's, that's actually a thing. Yeah, 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 let me show you, let me show you. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, that is cool. And you just did it to hand me your business card. <laughs> if you tell me that I sent you, then you get 20% off. <laughs> By the way, have you seen my wife? <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for having me. You know, this is great. I, I don't think I knew it, but... I needed a place like this. You mean a place to get away from our wives? Preach. <laughs> Why do you need a place? You're married to a guy. Your only problem is, do I watch Sports Center before, during, or after sex? Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's a little more complicated than that. What do you mean? Okay, well, imagine all of the wife and none of the sex. Yeah, we don't need to imagine. We're married, too. My age is about once a month. <laughs> hey, can, can I share something that doesn't leave this room? Yeah, sure. Oh, these guys know that uh, back when I was single... I used to bang his sister. I'm not gay. I, I married my best friend, so I could adopt Lewis. Really? Then you shouldn't have any of these problems. And yet, I have all of these problems. I mean, that's why it's so great coming here. I get to get away from Alan. I mean, he wants to do everything with me. He ordered a Groupon for two-for-one prostate exams. <laughs> Are your wives that clingy? Oh, yeah. No, my wife just bought golf clubs so she could ruin golf for me. <laughs> my wife's outside waiting in the minivan. <laughs> yeah, even I have to get away from Heidi every now and then. Do you know what the worst wife thing is? When you forget to ask them, how was your day? Oh, oh no, no. The worst thing is when you ask Alan, how was your day? And he answers. That's <laughs> well, funny. I, I always thought being married to a guy would be different. In some ways it is. I mean, uh, for example, I imagine that you guys enjoy it when you walk in on your wives masturbating. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey, there you are. We didn't get 
talked yesterday. How was your day? Great. How was your day? <laughs> oh, oh, it was the worst. Fade in, supermarket. There are only two lanes open, but there must have been 30 of us. <laughs> 30? Well, wow, that's an amazing end to that story. I wish. You know they don't give you bags anymore. You want a bag? That's 10 cents. 10 cents. That's outrageous. That's six bruised peaches. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I went out to the parking lot. Alan, and there is a... can, can we just jump to the end? She agreed not to press charges. <laughs> that is the end to, like, way too many of your stories. <laughs> so uh, how did your foster dad's group go? I, I texted you, but you never answered. Really? I, that's, I must not have gotten it. Are you sure? Uh, it says it was read at 747. <laughs> I guess it was ignored at 748. Dad's group was really fun. Yeah, I think it's going to be really helpful for Lewis. Oh, great, great. Uh, when are you going to do it again? Uh, well, you know, I'm going to actually have the guys over tonight. Tonight? The place is a mess. Oh, and the good wife is on. <laughs> oh, I do want to meet the guys, though. Oh, well, you know, it's, it's actually it's a pretty tight-knit group, so I don't think people will be able to open up if there's a stranger around. Besides, don't don't you and Miss McMartin have a thing tonight? Nope. I'm free as a boner in sweatpants. Come <laughs> on. You deserve a thing. So, here. Oh, I, I do deserve a thing. Hey, hey, you only give me money when you're trying to get rid of me. <laughs> here, take more money. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Do you not want me around tonight? No, fun again tonight. I see. And Webster's defines fun as having or pertaining to the absence of Alan. From the Latin, Perticus feelingsmus. <laughs> okay, are you really asking why I don't want you around while you're talking like that? Oh, so you really don't want me around? <laughs> yes, or as defined in Webster's, affirmative. Don't take my dictionary thing. Oh, at least you have a thing. I don't have anything for myself. I mean, every time I turn around, there you are. Like, what? Let's just do it. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm sorry if my presence offends you. If bags weren't 10 cents a piece, I'd put one over my head. Listen, I just want one thing for myself. One thing where you're not around. Is that too much to ask? Fine, if that's how you feel. You know, have your stupid little group all to yourself in our house. But don't expect me to wait to watch The Good Wife. <laughs> Man. Here's a picture of Heidi on a nude beach in Cancun. Whoa. I can see her can. <laughs> and her coot. <laughs> Alan? Thought you had a thing. Well, if you saw my feet after the paraffin dip, you'd know I already had my thing. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't spoil your little party. You must be the dads who are part of the group. I'm the dad who's not part of the group. And here we go. <laughs> hey, hey, why don't you have a beer? Oh, no, I'll be in my room. I can amuse myself. I have a half bag of Cheetos and a radio. <laughs> oh, I, I, come on, man. No, please stay. Well, when the boss says jump, I say how high I'm Alan. <laughs> Someone. There you go. There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so what's going on? Or, or should I say, what's up? <laughs> you remember that? You guys, you guys remember that? Remember? What's up? That is the whitest guy I have ever seen. Hey, but is that all you're serving? Chips? Not even in a bowl? You should be embarrassed. Oh, trust me, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> like nobody cares. Alan seems to care, and you care about Alan's feelings, don't you? Ooh, I like him. Two points for the silver fox. <laughs> Maybe I'll just uh, throw together some nachos. We're fine. But I, I don't want you to go to all the trouble. See, I'm thinking about you. It's no trouble. It's just uh, chips, uh, guacamole, uh, jalapenos, and uh, queso fresco. <laughs> My wife's idea of nachos is just dumping some sauce on chips. Well, I'm nacho average wife. <laughs> I bail him out completely. No judgment. Nothing. We came straight home. Same place we went on our honeymoon. The guy has a jet. How hard is it to go to Aruba? Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Here I go, Montego. Baby, why don't we go? Take you down to Cucama. We'll get the attack and we'll take it slow. That's where we want to go. Oh, 
Mystique, that monster Ron Mystique. <laughs> that is my jam, and y'all are my bitches. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? I'm just being a fun guy. What are you doing? You're about as much fun as the polyp in Rick's colon. <laughs> you're doing exactly what I thought you would. You're taking my friends. Just like you take everything. You took my house, you took my money, you even took my old jeans and turned them into cutoffs. They're both shorts and they look great on me. You, you knew I didn't want you here. And you said you weren't going to be here, yet here you are with your guacamole and your fresco queso. Do not correct me when I'm talking to you. You know what? You know what? I, think, I think that the reason that you didn't want me here is because you were afraid that they were going to like me better than you. <laughs> okay, I can honestly say that I have never had that in my life. Everything okay in here? Well, am I allowed to answer your friends, Walden? I'm sorry you guys had to see this. Oh, come on. We've all been there. I mean, just a while back, Jack's wife chased him around his house with a steak knife. Trust me, I was in no danger. She could use a kitchen utensil to save her life. <laughs> we can help you work through this. That's what the group is for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, why don't we do some role play? You're, you're Alan, and you just found out that Walden doesn't want you around his friends. Fine. Thank you, Walden, for letting me live here rent-free. Despite not contributing anything to this household, I ignore even your most basic requests. You're not really supposed to use this to attack. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm Walden, and I get off on making Alan feel bad about himself. Well, I'm Alan, and I get off on everything, including the stock photos that come from the picture frame from Target. One time, the internet was down, and, and she reminded me of a girl I knew in high school. Yeah, we've all been there. Sears catalog. Even Marcus. The uh, Indian girl from the Land of Lakes box. You know what? I'm sick of having the same fight over and over again. You know, why do we keep doing this? Because you love him and he loves you. Also, where am I? <laughs> hey, Ryan, I know you've been asleep for a few meetings, but Walden told us they're not actually gay. I know they're not gay. I said they love each other. We got this kid together for a reason. Why don't you talk about that? Oh, God, my wife said the twins are sick. I gotta go back to sleep. <laughs> By the way, not cool about my sister. Don't judge me. I'm Alan. And I'm always there for Walden whenever he needs me the most. And I do look good in shorts. And my nachos are rest well. Well, I'm Walden, and, uh, I've been the best friend that Alan's ever had. And also, I'm not angry about the 20s he occasionally steals from my wallet. I said it didn't wait around. I'm sorry I was smothering you. Bring it here. Hey, hey. You know where we should go? Bermuda, Bahama. Bahama, Ilargo, Montego. Wait, are you really taking it? Oh, yeah, I just want to tell you guys, I love being a part of this group. <laughs> and we love having you, Alan. Oh, well, thank you. So as I was saying, why is it that I'm willing to take three hours to make him dinner and he won't take three seconds to tell me what he wants? Speaking of three seconds, can we talk about the sex? <laughs> At least you're having sex, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Man, 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 man.